Hey, it's Earth Castle. Recently I picked up Resident Evil Village and I beat it a couple of days later. All the environments were absolutely amazing, but the one that stuck out to me the most was the castle. The architecture all around the place was so grand and there were so many curves and notches on every surface. Comparing this to modern G-Mod or Half-Life 2 maps, there's a huge difference. Most of it is because of the time gap, but a lot of source maps just don't have that same intricate detail as a game like RE8. I thought somewhere good to start might be the windows, since they're probably the easiest and more noticeable part of the buildings. So I put myself to the challenge of making an arched window in Hammer, and today I'll show you how to make an arched window in the Hammer editor. First, start off with a normal shaped window. It doesn't matter what size, just as long as it's a square or rectangular shape. Next, select the arch in the objects menu and set it to a large enough thickness so that it fills in the center of the arch, kind of like half a circle. Then rotate it and adjust it to be the size of your window and put it on the top of your window. You might think we're already done, but experienced mappers might have already noticed a problem. Since the glass texture is see-through, you can see all the inner faces of the arch from the window. To fix this, texture all the faces with the invisible texture on the inside. Then to make the frame around the window. Make another larger arch around it and fit it around the arched part of the window. Then fill out the rest with brushes and you're done. I think it turned out looking really good and I might use it if I ever do some sort of medieval or intricately designed map. That's all for now, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other ham content and join our Discord server where you can ask questions about the Hammer Editor or just hang out. And that's all for now. See ya.